Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Black with me, Berserk Edge 111. And today we're going to explore Route 4. I mean, not the Route 4, the Resort Desert. Well, it's part of Route 4, so I guess I'm technically right. And this guy here is a, tr a doctor. I don't know why he's here, but is he doesn't need to do surgery on somebody. I don't know. I don't care. All I know is he has some Pokemon called Solosis, which is a pure psychic type with a lot of special attack. And, but they're fortunately weak to dark moves, and Steel Urban kills it in one move, so that was easy. And the thing about, and yeah, he, he's gonna heal you after, when you, if you, whenever you talk to him. So, yay, we got free healer. So, basically, one thing about Solosis is he's exclusive, or him or her, or it, I guess, is exclusive to Pokemon White, and. The other Pokemon called the uh, Gothel line is exclusive to Black, so just be wary of that. I mean, they're good Pokemon, so I'd recommend adding them to your team if you have the space. But up here we have this guy, his backpacker. He's, he's saying I have traveled through the world and stuff. What? Okay. And he's like sending out Tranquil, and you know how to deal with Tranquils already. And basically, I want to go to Dennis. I don't want to really use Daydara that much, but Dennis should have a better time against him because he's going to try to sh electrocute him to death. And I want to use Shockwave. And this asshole uses Detect, which is annoying because it blocks any attack. Excuse my language, but I hate Pokemon enemies that use protection move over and over and over just to make you waste P power points. If he didn't do that, I could have killed him by now, and Dennis wouldn't have to die. So that's why I'm upset about it. I guess I have a right to be. Then I'll just use a Steel Warrior and let him kill it. He's going to use Detect for some retarded reason, but he's going to get killed by the Sandstorm. So it's fail on his part. Okay, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Sorry about that ranting, but uh, we're done with him. And the next thing we'll want to go is go down here, get healed up real quick, and all we have to do is go north now. And we see a Pokeball right here, and it contains a Black Glasses, which increase the attack power of Dark moves by like 20%. So, I'm going to give that to Steve Irwin, because he's a lot more dark moves than ground moves right now. And oh, the attack boost and extra attack boost couldn't, help, couldn't hurt at all. So, except other Pokemon, it'll definitely hurt other Pokemon. So, up here, this guy is like, you're the first put a crown and talk to me. I moved, so I'll give you this. And he gives a soft sandwich. Does it the same thing as black glasses, but increases ground, ground moves. And... Pretty much the next thing we want to do is keep going west, and we see another Pokeball up here, and it contains a fresh water, which fresh water is always cool, increase our health back up if we need it. And there's some weird old ass statues back up here, and we get another Pokeball with a super potion. So yeah, there's a lot of trainers and a few items, you know, some of them useful, some of them not so useful, I guess. And in here is the Relic Castle, which is a place we can't really get into right now. Because there's a big old ledge, and of course in Pokemon games you can't go up ledges. I wish they'd fix that. You know, that's kind of dumb. But using the Super Repel, because my other one wore off, it the manly aroma of it wore off. And apparently that manly aroma has Tracker's some gay guy, and he's like, Oh my god, the harshness of this desert is too much for me! And, sorry about that. <laughs> and he sends out Dara Maka, and I'm gonna go with Daydara. And Daydara's gonna use Air Cutter. And he's gonna almost kill me with Fire Punch. Uh, I'm gonna switch out the little Wayne, help him, let him handle this. That's gonna be much better. And Headbutt almost kills me. Almost go for Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne's gonna use lick me like a lot of the pop on him and kill him. So that's it for him. And he's gonna try to send Blitzel. Uh, 
I'm gonna go with Steve Irwin right here. And you can use pursuit. That ain't gonna do squat. Dig underground. We're gonna rape him from underneath. So that we're in good shape after that battle. Well, I'll probably need to heal a little bit. He's like, oh, I need water. And he gives us some lost bears, which heal burns. It's pretty cool. And um, just to let you guys know, the Pokemon you can find in this area are Syllagif, which is a new Pokemon we'll encounter a little bit later. Uh, I'll explain him when I come to him. Uh, Merrick, Merrick Cactus, or something like that. It's like a cactus type Pokemon, it's a pure grass type, it ain't much of a threat. They're kind of uncommon though. And the rest are just normal, except no Scrafty in this area. Sorry about that, that's my dog shaking itself. Weird. And this girl comes and uh, apparently my ex Bray attracted her too and she's like, okay, at least it, I proved that it attracts hot girls now. So I helped out a company in some way I don't know about. So anyway, enough of that. He's gonna send in Ducklet, which is a she's gonna send in Ducklet, which is a water flying type. Um, very, very weak to electric attacks. Like from Blitzel, I mean Dennis, sorry. Dennis used Shockwave and kill it instantly. So that was easy enough. And if you notice in this video, my video quality actually has improved quite a bit. Because I think I was playing around with the settings a little bit. I put the camera into more focus and stuff, and I situated it a little bit better. Because you see the green light of it is hitting like the very, very top of the screen. It's probably where I need to be. But it's difficult after I get it perfect one time, like the situation where I situate the webcam at, because I have to sit it on top of like books and like my Yu-Gi-Oh, my little Yu-Gi-Oh binder, and it's just hard to get it perfect again after I do it. So it's it sucks. So down here we're gonna find a Firestone. So if you don't didn't get a Firestone earlier for your monkey or one that revolves through the Firestone, you can use it now. But I really wouldn't recommend evolving your monkey till it's eh, about level 30-ish, something like that. So at least one will learn as many moves as it can. And up here we find a little Pokeball, and it contains Stardust, which you can sell for like a thousand Poke Dollars or something like that. And next thing we want to do is I think it's time to explore that castle or whatever that place was we were we saw with the weird statues and it these statues have apparently are asleep or something and well we'll go in this entrance here and it's called the relic castle and I just want to switch put Steve Irwin in the lead because there's some psychic type tra trainers in here a couple of them need some experience so why not and this guy says tells about the sand and this guy says my Pokemon started to start making noises that sounds vulgar but he's gonna send in Syllogif which is a Pokemon I talked about a little, uh, uh, a little while ago he's a dual type psychic and flying type he has good special attack Decent defense, but and he's very fast. So you want to be wary of him. But as you can see, Steve took him down in two bites because Steve Irwin is awesome. So he levels up good. He wants to learn embargo, which is a useless move. It, it like stops them from using items or something. So I don't care for it. And um, I'm just gonna heal up real quick, like with a, like I got fresh water or something. Like Super potion one of them. So, okay. Without that out of the way, and with you see, you see with those sand pits, you want to walk in front of them. Don't run, or you're gonna slip, fall in. They're gonna, they're just gonna suck you in, and you're gonna fall on your ass. So you're gonna want to be very, very, very careful. Okay, but it's not that bad if you fall because. There's an entrance out of there anyways, not like you're trapped, like in those movies, you know. You're not gonna find 
one of those creatures like from Family Guy. I remember that guy. Was, was it? I think it's from the episode where Peter plagiarized something, or it was weird. And the guy went to Carter Peter Smith's house, and and he wants to sue him for every penalty he has, and then he opens the door, and the guy has to fight this big old monster. It's pretty funny. And he says, "I don't know Green Bear with a Jedi name." And this girl wants to give us one of these two fossils. The cover fossil, cover fossil gives us a rock water type Pokemon. And the other one gives us a rock flying type. I'm going to go with the rock flying one because it'd be an improvement over Tranquil or I guess on Pheasant later. So I'm going to do it probably after like maybe the 5th or 6th gym because it'd be a lot more, a lot easier to train. Because I don't really need it now. You can get the rock water one too if you want. It's pretty good Pokemon. It's sturdy, good, decent offenses. You know, if you want the type thing, it could be your water type for the game. And but the rock type flying Pokemon, Arkin and his evolution are have huge attack, huge special attack, and good speed. They're a what we call a sweeper because they're fast and have. That's a Pokemon that falls in the classification of having good attack offenses and good speed to go with it so it's definitely Pokemon I'd recommend and right here I just want to use another super repel so will hopefully be the last one I use for this episode uh, we'll go down south down south and uh, this girl comes I said comes yeah I did say that and she's like wants to battle us and she's going to send out Watchog. Oh my god, I hate that Pokemon. It aggravates me. It has these, it's fast and it knows hypnosis. I, I just can't stand that. And I just want to kill it with a dig, hopefully. And that'll do uh, pretty decent. Hopefully I can get it off again. Uses hypnosis, which is very annoying and it put me to sleep. And get hit by sandstorm. I switch out. I'll go with Dennis here, and he's gonna use Confuse Ray on it, which another move I hate. It gets all these very very annoying moves. I hate annoyers, guys. I hate them. And he's gonna use Super Fan, which cuts your HP in half. And, yeah, it's just nasty. And Dennis kills himself. Nice job, Dennis. Oh, he's just so frail. It's annoying. I'm mean, just use quick attack, finish it off, and that's it. Dadar wants to learn detect, which I don't want to know that. It's kind of a dumb move, and I don't really care for it. So we beat her, and next thing we want to do is go down south a little bit, and eh, I guess we can use the heal up, heal up real quick. So, basically we just want to go through the gateway, and we just want to get to Nimbasa City next, that's our next destination of course. So just go down south here, then take a right, it was at that, it's, the entrance to it is at that place I showed in the last episode, where you can go north instead of going to the resort desert so that's where we're going to go now and my repo wore off but I'm not going to care about that too much I mean I'm not going to run into more water Pokemon so this guy another backpacker wants to battle us uh, the, these backpackers are just starting to get on my nerves guys I mean, they're just everywhere like pests and this guy is going to send out p -Dove, which we've seen a million p -Doves up to now, and eh, I'll go Steve Irwin on this one, why not? And I'll just use Bite. I I'm not going to bother speeding this one up, because it takes a second anyway. And I'll just use Assurance to knock it out. Sure, it's a pretty cool move. I think it dep if they get any stat boost or anything, I think it does more damage or something like that. It's pretty cool move in some situations. 
and we just knock him out and just we just need to move along so we go up here and apparently it's Professor Juniper with her weird theme music and Sharon says come here and Alessa called and something about electric types and she has presents for us which are 10 ultra balls which is awesome I mean 10 ultra balls would cost you if you bought 12, 10 ultra balls that would cost you 12,000 so that's pretty expensive so that's really cool of her to give us 10 ultra balls right now but she's gonna give us some much better later on believe me but we'll see when we come to that and Sharon's just talking about stuff we don't really need to care about and I guess is all the time I have for today's episode guys um I'll see you guys in the next episode when I explore Nimbasa Town so alright later <laughs>